yes i honestly don't know why i'm laughing but this is not clickbait guys this is not scam your girl is actually pregnant as in it is as real as my name is your girl is going to be a mother <laughs> it is still so it's just so surreal to me i can't even lie but one thing for sure my heart is so full i am so full of gratitude to god guys if anybody had told me that by this time this year i would be a mom i would never even believe the person so you know what you online aunties and uncles now y'all can let me breathe let the girl breathe <laughs> it's just so unreal to me that somebody like me somebody like me could be testing mama like hey god this life eh? it is just funny but i'm just so happy and i'm so grateful to god and by the time you guys are probably seeing this video i might have given birth yes or maybe long gone in my pregnancy and hell no i'm not afraid of online which is a wizard or whatever it is but so much happened which i'll definitely tell you guys in this video so if i want to subscribe to the channel right now give the video a huge thumbs up drop your comments in the comment section and yeah this is the perfect time to subscribe and join the family okay so just join the family right now all right so like i said so much happened and heck this is my very first pregnancy i just needed to enjoy every single moment i just really wanted to enjoy it alone all by myself with my friends with my family members and loved ones and i was not just in the mood to share but regardless guys don't worry i had you guys in mind i filmed and i documented so many things so the next video you're probably going to see after this one is the video of how i found out that i was pregnant like my live raw reaction when i took the life pregnancy test you would see it in the upcoming videos and then right after that you'll be seeing the video of when i told my husband i was pregnant my first trimester my auntie made her visit every single thing i documented for you guys so you have nothing to miss all right but yes yeah, so much happened like i already said i don't even know where to start to be honest and if you know me you know that whenever something huge like a life-changing milestone is happening to me i just get so overwhelmed and anxious it happened when i was getting married i was so scared i was so anxious i was like oh my god i'm getting married but one thing about me regardless of how scared or how anxious i am i will still do it scared and anxious so that was kind of the situation also with me finding out that i was pregnant i was like oh my god guys motherhood is a big deal like till tomorrow i'm still of the opinion that motherhood is one of the greatest tasks in this life i was honestly just so scared and anxious about being a mother and before i got married i and my husband we had talked about having children and all that and me have been saying please let's wait let's enjoy our marriage just one year after then we can start to try my husband has always been saying let's just pop these babies out like asap but regardless of that he wasn't pressuring me at all and i don't know if you guys have ever heard me mention we were not actively preventing pregnancy but somewhere in my head i'm like oh my god what i think why they feel and the middle of last year like there was so much pressure on us to get pregnant everybody was just anticipating and insinuating and people would say a lot of things you know and that was when i did like some random pregnancy tests and all of that and i was scared oh my god i was really really scared doing all those pregnancy tests at that time because i knew that i wasn't ready and at that moment i felt like it was just the wrongest time to bring a child to the world i was just going through so much there was just so much happening with me at the time and i felt like bringing a child would be very wrong of me because because i didn't think i was capable enough at the time to nurture that child the way i wanted so there was a video i posted some time ago where i'll link it up here here where i did a life pregnancy test and when it was negative i was like oh thank god and i wasn't trying to say oh thank god because i was trying to be selfish or whatever it is or i didn't want to have a child but so much was just going on at that time and it was not just the right time to have a child so i started to take measures to ensure that okay i don't get pregnant right now until i'm fine and until i'm okay so i started to calculate my period you know i had to like get the flow up i started to calculate my period my free day my ovulation day my this my period days you know all <laughs> i'm sure god was just looking in heaven and i was like oh uh, oh uh, see you don't know anything <laughs> The moment I started to calculate, oh, okay, this is my free day, this is that, this is that. Oh, well, that was the time I actually got pregnant. <laughs> God is such 
God is such a master planner. I can't even lie. And we used to think that we, we know so much about our lives and everything. But God just knows the end from the beginning. So even when I got pregnant, I still did not believe or I still did not want to believe that I am pregnant. My period is clockwork. Like, I don't miss a period. Since I started seeing my period, it is always constant. It always comes. It is never late. With all my calculation and everything, I realized that my period was late. And you know how you you know that it might be this thing, but in your head, you're still like, mm, no, it cannot. My period was one day late, two days late, three days late, and I'm like, bruh, no, 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 no. I had to go back to my flow app and I'm like, I thought, I thought this was, I thought my dear, I was just talking and talking and talking. I was so nervous, I wouldn't even lie. But I was still trying to live in denial because I felt like somewhere in my head, no, my, my period will still come, my period will still come. But somehow, still at the back of my mind, some people were just telling me, oh, well, madam, you don't carry bell, you don't carry bell, all this your kaku, you don't carry bell. <laughs> you know, so I did a pregnancy test and it came out to be positive. I would definitely share the video with you guys that would definitely be the next video that you guys would see i found out i was pregnant in as much as i kind of knew that i was pregnant even before i did the test and the test came out to be positive and immediately i saw that i was pregnant i was just stunned like i was surprised i was very very surprised and it just dawned on me like bro god has given you a chance at motherhood and are you still going to say you're not ready you know and i won't lie to you i wasn't like overly excited you know how people always go and be like oh my god yes i'm pregnant it moved from that from that feeling of confusion and fear and then gradually progressed to happiness and excitement and right now you can't tell me anything this is the best thing that has ever happened to me like it's just like a blessing you never knew you needed but god knew that you needed it like god is just intentional and his ways are just high high above our ways high above our calculations high above our plans and everything you know how i just hopelessly in love with someone even before meeting the person and you can't even wait to meet the person that is where i am right now and somewhere in my head i'm like god i'm so sorry for thinking i'm wise in my own eyes it was just my stupidity all along so my first trimester was a breeze i can't like the only way i knew i was pregnant was by the size of my boobs my boobs were just overly volume shots and if you know me i don't get raised <laughs> at some point i and my husband were like ah, hey what like am i really pregnant like really really pregnant I don't know what it means to have so many negative experiences that pregnant women have when they're pregnant and I, I just owe it to God to be honest. I can't relate to so many things. I can't relate to nausea. I can't relate to um, spitty. Like so many things. My, my first trimester was a breeze. So yeah, I have a video that will be coming up where I compiled some things about my first trimester. So you will definitely get to see what I experienced. The only issue I was having during my first trimester was normal like back it's and it's not like the back aches were like a lot aside that the only way i knew i was pregnant was the size of my boobs second trimester came almost the same thing the only difference is that my bump now became obvious like my bones started to come out and okay little body changes here and there it was in second trimester that it actually started to show that i was pregnant although if you don't really have eyes like that you won't even really know because i was still looking okay i was still feeling okay but i think the tiredness got a little bit more and then my body started to change my bones started to come out it was in second trimester towards the end step of second trimester that i started to realize that oh okay now, now i'm pregnant now, now i'm pregnant you know so guys it's been such a journey like i rightly said and god has been amazing god has been faithful like he has been faithful he has been intentional he's been amazing to me and my household my husband is definitely happy he's over the moon my siblings i couldn't get their reaction on camera lots of amazing content coming through for you guys the next video you're going to see is the video of how i found out that i was pregnant live reaction live pregnancy test you're going to see it live and direct just follow me on this journey man i, I don't even know what motherhood will bring to be honest am i still nervous about being a mother hell yes 
hell yes definitely and i'm going to be fine through christ that strength things so just come along with me on this journey baby is coming so all these online uncles and aunties now i can rest in fact you know what bring money for school fees start bringing money for school fees <laughs> All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched up until this point, thank you so much. This is the perfect time to subscribe. So subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed. Like, drop your comments. Tell me congratulations in the comment section. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.